almost can't see you guys over this ginormous Hot Topic clearance haul that we are about to endure and I am so, so excited! Hi guys, so today I went to my local Hot Topic and they were having a buy one, get three free on the clearance again. And I decided to stock up for some future videos. And I wanted to show you guys everything that I picked up. This thing is like no joke. Like I don't know how these handles are holding on. The first thing was not part of the clearance sale, but I have mentioned it in previous videos. It is the record bone bone. Their name is Randy, and they're most likely to collect mid-century modern furniture. And their bum's date is September 24th, 2022. There are the other cuties in the set. I like the guitar and the flower too, but I had to limit myself because I really got carried away with the bum bums. And I was like, listen, I can't do it all. So I have been selling most of my Bum Bums collection forever remain in my collection. Like I'm surprised they haven't made a turntable or record Squishmallow yet. But I absolutely love Randy here. Randy is adorable. Some of this stuff will be opened up on the channel. Others will be opened up on my TikTok. So if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. I do mystery unboxings on there. As well as some like concert footage things that you know we get copyrighted if I uploaded them to YouTube. And I do little like DIY projects. All kinds of different random things. So go ahead and follow me on TikTok. But I got two more of the Chainsaw Man Takara Tomi Arts. Um, I bought four of these from Box Lunch. They were $8 a piece and I got three Akis and one Puchita, which could have been worse. I would really like a Power and a Denji. So I only bought two. I think these were on clearance for $5. And again, every single thing was buy one, get three free. So if something was five bucks and you got four of them, you spent $5 on four things. Kind of crazy, which made everything $1.25. So I bought two of these just to buy them, but I will probably open those up in a TikTok. I got all that they had left of these Naruto blind bags. This is series five. Naruto is one of my husband's favorite animes and you guys like it when I do videos with him. So I grabbed these to do in an upcoming unboxing those are all of the characters that you can get you guys i got 12 12 of the tokidoki healthy besties and these look so cute and i have been selling a lot of my tokidokis just the ones that i do not like need they weren't ones that i was looking for in this set and i kind of just held on to them because they were cute because you know, I do own a, a house, but I would like to keep my collections condensed to like one or two rooms. I don't want them throughout my whole house, which has proven to be very difficult. But you guys, we got six. We got six? What am I saying? We got 12 of the Healthy Besties Tokidoki blind boxes. And these do look really cute. I wish the unicorno that was on here was part of the set, but it's not. The chaser is so adorable. I just love this set. It's all about healthier alternatives and going green and just such a cute, cute set to collect. And we got 12 of them, so. Must not have been a, a, a big seller, clearly, but um, I bought them all, so yeah. And these are usually, oh, they don't even have stickers on them. These are usually $17 a piece. What? What? These are usually 17 freaking dollars. Holy smokes, guys. These are usually $16.90 a piece. A piece. So I got 12 of them for less than the price of two. But wait, there's more. I got five of the Tokidoki. This is the, um, what is this? The Zodiac collection. 
There is not a chaser for this set. My husband is a Sagittarius. I am a Pisces. So I would love those two. But in terms of looks, I really want Gemini because it looks like it's two little unicornos. But these are also usually $16.90 a piece. Five of those cuties. So I really cleaned out their Tokidoki shelves like the Hot Topic people must love me or something. I will say working a full-time job now where I am Monday through Friday, it is so nice to come home and be excited to film videos or to edit videos again because that craze was slowly dying out of me and I'm so happy to be back in the rhythm of things. The rest of this is all mystery pins. So the first one we got eight of is the mystery cupcakes. And obviously from this set, I want the Dalmatian. I checked my pin board. I do not have the Dalmatian, so I want the Dalmatian. And I would like to get the Winnie the Pooh for my mom for her pin board. You guys, you don't even understand. So there's eight pins here. I paid $10, $10 for these eight pins when one is usually $9.90. So I paid for eight of these the price of one. It was like buy one get seven free essentially. And then I also got seven of this set that I have not opened before. This is the um, Disney dogs and they are in dog houses. There was a set like this and there was a Pongo and stuff. This one doesn't necessarily have anything that I collect, but I would absolutely love the Bolt pin because Bolt is so sweet. I don't have any Bolt pins and I feel like they don't make a lot of Bolt pins. So I really want him and he's holding a carrot, but they are more of like a doodly cutesy kind of pin. So very, very precious. Love these. Um, I got one of this summer Hello Kitty set. This is kind of a random one. I will probably open this and mail it off to my friend who's a Sanrio collector. I got one of the Kirby pins. I do really like Kirby, so it's nice to see some variety here. And then I got two of the Animal Crossing ones. I've been my, I've had my eye on these. I've opened one of these before I got Isabel, so. And then the last of the mystery pins before we get into the non-mystery stuff is this whole entire thing of random. They're not, they're not all the same here, so. I got the last two of these Naomi Lord Art pins, and these look so precious. These are Forest Friends. Beautiful, beautiful front packaging here. And then this is the set. And they just look so darling. I don't care which two I get as long as they aren't the same. I got four of the World of Studio Ghibli super excited about these um there's a bunch of different ones on here like kiki's delivery service my neighbor totoro um lots of various studio ghibli characters and i've seen these pins on mercari and they are beautiful so um they had four of those so i bought those five bucks for the four and then I got the last four of the Bright Bat Harvest Cows because I did not get the Leaf Cow. Oh, I got it in the bigger size. I think she sent it to me, but I didn't have it in the little size. Am I tripping here? I'm just missing the pumpkin. It's been determined. I don't have the pumpkin and the pumpkin is really cute. If you guys have not seen the pumpkin cow. There's the pumpkin cow. That's the whole entire set. And I know that you guys like Bright Bat. I did just hit 40,000 subscribers, so I may be keeping some of this stuff to do giveaways with as well, but I got the last... Oh, there was five. Holy shnikes. Okay, because I get happy, you get happy. You guys, there was so much stuff. Like, please don't think that I bought everything. There was so much stuff still there. They had Disney Princess mystery pins, like over 20 of these Sanrio ones. They had a bunch of like Shrek ones too. Like I definitely left a bunch of mystery things. They had Spy Family, Demon Slayer. And that's it for the mystery goodies. I did get two like pins that like you can see. I just got this in a sticker and I put it on my Kindle. It says read a frog in book and it is a frog reading a frog in book. 
And then I picked this up for my friend Jasmine. She collects Sanrio and Kuromi specifically. So anytime I see a good deal on something Kuromi, I pick it up for her. Probably not the best idea, but hey, so she's going to get that pin. For my husband, my husband, one of his favorite animes is JoJo's and Stone Ocean is one of his favorite, if not his favorite arc. So I have no idea what these necklaces mean or what they represent, but he just got his own display shelves upstairs and he just got a bunch of Stone Ocean figures. So I thought that this would look super dope on the shelf with his figures. So I had to pick this up when I saw it, but it is JoJo's. And there are the necklaces there. This is one of the more expensive things I got. This was $7. The Miles Morales Spider-Man crossbody bag. Um, I absolutely love these. I got the uh, Jujutsu Kaisen one. And you guys, these are so nice for going to like flea markets or like the fair, any sort of outdoor activity. These are incredible. They're so snug. I absolutely love them. I wear my each story one all the time when I'm out doing stuff. So when I saw that this was on clearance for 25 bucks, had to grab it. Most expensive thing that I bought. Very, very excited about it though. And it looks sick. So this is usually $45, but it is Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. You have the symbol there, it says Miles Morales on the side. You have Miles Morales on the actual strap. You have the spider on the back and it's got pockets all over this thing. Like right here, there's one on the front here. They are just all over the place and there's a zipper in the back. So these are super sick, super fun. Absolutely love these, they are adjustable. You can put pins on it. These are just incredible. That's everything that I got though. I'm almost out of breath, but not fully. Stay tuned to see me unbox a lot of the stuff in future videos, but let me know what your experience has been with the Hot Topic clearance because it is absolutely ridiculous. Like it is crazy right now. I'm just so excited. I feel like I got so many good things and I'm so, so thankful and my Hot Topic associates here locally are so awesome. They are so supportive of my buying habits, obviously, and they're just a good time. Great to talk with them. I'm sure they absolutely love dealing with me, but they make my online job so much easier. So I am so excited. Um, go check your local Hot Topic. See what's out there. I love you guys. I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.